when you win, and congratulations in advance, you do have a time uh, on the uh, microphone this evening. Take, you know, 60 seconds to two minutes if you'd like. Another thing we should mention is that each of the uh, finalists have profiles that you may have seen out in the lobby area. You finalists, please grab those tonight before you go, no matter what happens, because those are yours to take home. Yeah, nobody else take those, okay? We're watching. <laughs> so without further delay, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin with the first set of awards. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first two set of awards tonight recognize excellence in the arts. And boy, isn't our arts community just growing and growing all the time? The, award, uh, the awards for the arts category tonight are uh, presented by Prospera Credit Union. The Teen Honor in the Arts Award is presented to a young person who has made an outstanding contribution to both our cultural and artistic life here in Kelowna. Our presenter for this is our good friend, near and dear to our heart, we love her, Angela McLean O'Hare, a branch manager with Prospera Credit Union. Angela, if you make your way to the stage, when you do that, We'd like to say, ladies and gentlemen, these are your three outstanding finalists for Teen Honor in the Arts Award this year. Teen Honor in the Arts Award, awarded to a Kelowna youth who has made an outstanding contribution to Kelowna through cultural and or artistic efforts. Isabel Donati Simmons. As a 16-year-old grade 11 student at Kelowna Secondary School, Isabel spends a lot of time running between the music rooms, theater, and dance departments. In 2011, she was a member of the KSS Vocal Jazz and Concert Choir, as well as the Grade 10 Dance Team. In theater, she had roles in The Laramie Project and Chow Baby, and was cast to play Puck in their upcoming production, Midsummer Night's Dream. And that's only what she does in school. Her love for theater began when she was first cast in Theater Kelowna's 2007 production of Aladdin. After that, she was hooked and has been in three other shows with them since, including the 2011 show Honk. She's also been active with Bumbershoot Children's Theater, first in Thoroughly Modern Millie in 2010, followed by Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Camp Rock, and the Bumbershoot Apprentice Program in 2011. She also takes dance classes, worked with the RCA Arts Camps for Kids, and the Summerland Shakespeare Festival. Isabel hopes to attend the National Theater School in Montreal and obtain a business degree as well, so she can one day open a performing arts school or theater company. For the past 11 years, Haley Manlove has been taking dance classes at the Rob Carr Dance Studio. These days, however, not only is she found in the studio taking classes, but teaching them as well. After volunteering as a teaching assistant for three years, she is now teaching classes, bringing her positive energy and enthusiasm for dance to share with young children. At LKM, where Haley is a grade 12 student, she also gets to share her passion for dance with others as the head choreographer for the school's musical theater productions, creating and teaching the dances to the cast. She recently taught one of her choreographies to over 60 students, earning the admiration of all the students involved in the production. In addition to dancing, Haley also acts with the OKM Mission Mainstage Theatre Company, as well as finding time to be a peer counselor and leadership excellence student, and is a member of the Interact, Social Justice, Grad Council, and Lifesavers groups. She does all this while maintaining a 94% average. In 2011, Haley participated in the opening ceremonies of the Children's Winter Games, as well as the Environmental Mind Game and Millennium Development Challenge. As a grade 12 student at Okanagan Mission Secondary, Wyatt will be fondly remembered by his peers for hairspray. Not the aerosol kind, but the musical production in which he played the lead in 2011. Having been an active part of the OKM Theater and Performing Arts program for the past five years, Wyatt is no stranger to the spotlight. Even without hairspray, it proved to be someone to watch. And when he's not on stage, he's busy helping with props, working behind the scenes to mentor younger actors. In addition to his contributions to his school's theater program, Wyatt is also active in the music department. From concert band to jazz band, he's worked diligently to raise the standards of OKM's musical performances. On Remembrance Day, Wyatt is often called upon to play the last post in his school's annual ceremony. His involvement with the school's Interact program helped raise $2,000 for an Ethiopian YMCA, and he also found time to be on Grad Council 
and maintain a 94% average while volunteering at our local YMCA and being a peer counselor. Good kids, good kids. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner in the teen honor in the arts category is Haley Manlove. for. Uh, I truly believe that this award is a direct refle reflection of um, my friends and my family and my teachers and my peers and my students and my castmates. So thank you to all of them for encouraging me and supporting me and pushing me. Um, uh, this is a really great honor and I can't wait to take uh, all the enthusiasm from this award to my next endeavor. So thank you. I think it's going to be very bright, very bright. 